Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to some Ark Valgaro. Got quite a bit planned today. We're gonna be heading back up into the snow area. I got a kind of like a milking trap set up for the wyverns up there. We need to get some milk. We need to hatch the egg that we have and possibly steal some more. And then there's also time for dying and losing teams in the process. Kind of playing that into the day so that whenever it happens, it's nothing that's a surprise. But I'm up here grabbing a second trip of the rest of the stuff that we need for doing the milking and stuff. I went up there and built most of it just because, oh my gosh, dude, the weight for everything. It's a new trap that I have not done before. So it's kind of got me worried a little bit. We are taking this dude with us. We'll use him for killing the wyverns once they're kind of knocked out and everything. And it'll get some really good levels for him. We're taking the pterodon. He is like one of the main components for it. Hey, how's it going, everybody? Got Dust, Jimmy, Croc. We're just getting ready to head up there. And I think we'll be all right. We'll have to see. So the trap is a little, little bit different than I usually do. It's kind of with a behemoth gate and a keypad. Yeah, I made the stream this time. Oh, it's all good, man. There's always the VODs to look back on if you want to. Oh, yeah. And so before we go, I got this sorted out. You can kind of see I ran the water underneath here. It's kind of set up. So we do have water piped in. We don't have to rely on the rain and stuff, but we'll keep these just for looks. And then quite a bit's grown in here. So I got three plots of each of the vegetables. And then back over here, we got some of the purple berries, purple berries, and then a lot of the narco berries, and then tinto berries for making medical brew. So I think that'll be fine. Should be good enough. Hopefully our little dung beetle will be able to keep up with the fertilizer production. So yeah, the way the trap's set up, it's using a behemoth gate, a bunch of foundations, a bunch of pillars, and then a keypad. So hopefully we'll be able to kite the guy in and then get him kind of trapped with the keypad. Hey, how's it going, Logan? And welcome to the channel. Quite a bit of stuff. Just started doing some live streams. We got tons of playthroughs for Ark. We got some Seven Days to Die, some Subnautica. A little bit of everything there. But we're only taking a hundred of the darts in, so we'll get five or ten bottles of milk. That should be fine. Might not even need any, but that should do us just fine for getting a couple eggs raised up. Ah, the Gamma and Beta, man, that was pretty good. That was pretty good with the, with the A fight. It's, it seems like the, the healing pigs don't last very long in the boss fights. So that's why I usually never take them in too much. Oh, so you did get you a Reaper. Nice, nice. Oh, you've been playing Ark since 2016? Nice, nice, nice. I've been playing, I guess, around that time, on and off. Really never did it too much until I started doing YouTube. So, there's uh, always stuff to learn, you know? And then they keep changing stuff, too. Game mechanics and everything else. So... How was the Reaper? Did you end up doing a trap, or did you end up just doing it down there near the the console for doing the boss fight? Like down in the, that acid that's down there. So how many of the... Of the slots, are you taking in for the alpha? Take 15 or 18 or so? At the console? Yeah, that acid I usually end up dying in. That's why I try not to ever mess with it. I don't know, I got problems with <laughs> trying to swim in stuff that kills you. Yeah. Oh yeah, it is a pain. Huge pain. Did you use a shield? Hopefully you had like a nice ascendant shield or something. Yeah, I did the Gamma Dragon fight right before I started streaming. Oh, dude, I, uh, yeah, well, hmm, mistakes were made during it. <laughs> I can tell you that. I got that and the Mana Core mixed up. I thought the Dragon is the one that gave you the, shot the spines out, and gave you Torpor. Yeah, that's the, uh, that's the wrong creature. The theory? Uh, you mean a TLC update? They kind of need to do a pass on everything, really. 
Yeah, see, that's a problem. I only had the one... I think I only had one Reaper Queen, but I had a bunch of the Kings that kept bugging me when I was trying to do it. It was either Queens or Kings. I think it was Kings that were coming for me. Yeah, it seems like if you're not riding one of the pigs, it gets targeted pretty quick. That's why I usually just leave them at home and try to pump a bunch of stats into health, you know? Make sure we're going the right direction. Yep, we are almost there. So I built our trap on the left side of the trench this time, instead of the right side. There's a nice flat area I like to do. Kind of makes building real easy, you know? Alright guys, we'll see you later, man. We'll be here for a couple hours. I think for the, I only took eight fairies in for the, the dragon fight, and yeah, oh dude, it was, definitely should have got more. So let's see, we are going this way. Kind of right up there where those trees are in that flat area is kind of where we're heading. Yeah, yeah, that's a problem, man. Either that or you get knocked out real quick with the, the torpor from the reaper. Oh, well, let's land real quick before we try to go up that cliff. Hey, Similar Souls, how's it going, man? We are just heading up to the snow area. I got a trap almost finished. We got to do a little bit to it, and then we'll have us a nice wyvern milking trap, if it works. Hey, Jurassic, how's it going, man? Ah, I got you, okay. Is, is pain in the butt one of their nicknames? Because that's exactly what they are. Especially when there's like three or four of them, man. I'm not doing too bad. Kind of nervous. We got a new trap up here. New design that I've never used. I'm sure it's uh, been used by quite a few people, but... You know stuff is whenever it's new. You're not exactly sure how it's going to work or if it will work. My traps I usually build with no electricity. And this one evolves electricity. And it's fairly large, as you can see. So some of you might have already seen a trap like this for wyverns. I'll go over it real quick, then we'll finish building. So the goal is to have the wyvern come in here, follow us. We will have a roof. We'll go through here on the pterodon, and we'll land over here where we will have the generator and a keypad to close the door. And then we should be able to trank it without any problems. I don't know how many foundations that way we need to go for the ice ones. I don't think it's that far, so we should be good. I brought some walls to set up. To kind of protect our generator and stuff. And then I brought some double doorways I want to put right here. Because I think the Pterodon will fit through the double doorways. But I know for sure the Wyvern can't. I don't know if they can make it through that little opening. And I definitely don't want to chance it. But other than that, I mean, it's it's not too resource intensive. It's only like 100 foundations. The thing that cost the most was the pillars. It's almost 300 pillars. And then the ceiling's not too bad either. It's not going to be a solid ceiling. Yeah, I have, Logan, so what I do now, ever since that happened, is I actually have backups of all my stuff. I keep, like, five or six previous backups. That way, whenever something gets corrupted, I've only missed one kind of, like, recording session. You never use Wyvern milk to raise Wyverns? Yeah, I don't either, but sometimes they want them for, like, imprints, you know? And I know we could do the whole thing of doing the, the cryopod, but I figure, you know, we go ahead and try to make a trap. It's kind of fun to do sometimes, you know? See how it turns out. Oh, that was quick dust. I thought you were going to be gone for a while. So we're going to skip every other one. I kind of wanted to do two up here, in case some of them get broke from them. But these will just do one across. I know he won't be able to fly out. And then we should be good to go grab one and test it out. Well, I mean, we got to set up the electricity, but... That shouldn't take very long. Oh, nice. That's pretty good level on it. Couple more of these. We gotta watch out because there is a wolf spawn like right in that back corner. Oh, dude, they got me twice while I was trying to build this. I was gonna build it all on stream, but I had to do two runs with the Argentavis because his weight's not really that high. And dude, those 
Stacks of pillars weigh a lot. Yeah, they are ugly little things. Make sure, you, did you build like a little reaper containment room or anything? All right, let's set this right there. We'll get our electricity out. Put you right here. Gonna need our keypad. And this, and that, and that. And that should be everything. We'll do the walls to kind of protect everything. Hopefully. Put you right there. Oh, just a one by one? Yeah, I usually go overboard when I build mine. I do like a whole kind of like a staged chamber room. Oh, yeah, Reaper's up in the blue zone? Oh, dude. That's, that's, that's not good at all. I've only seen them up there whenever I drag them up there, you know? I'm sure this is probably overkill for this, but... I'd like to keep everything kind of protected if one breaks loose and comes for us. Alright, so this is going to be... Let's go ahead and turn this on. And that should be good there. Let's grab... These out. Let's go ahead and throw him out so our timer will start ticking away. Oh, did I forget the saddle? Oh, he's got the saddle. Oh, dude, thought I forgot the saddle for him. Now let's double check. I think the Pterodon can fly through that. The double doorway. Oh, I can't check because he's... He's in the cryopod. It's fine, though. I think he can fit through it. We'll jump on the Argentavis and finish putting these out. Hey, glad you liked the videos, man. It's much appreciated. Alright, cool. That should be fine. That should be good enough. Because I know we can't fit through these, and I don't think he will be able to either. We can't fit through that. Nice. So the Pterodon should fit. All right, so I got a bed to set up as well. Let's try to sneak that. Hmm. I don't know if I want to put the bed over here. I kind of want to put it out to the side. In case we're getting attacked right there. Maybe we'll put the bed right over here. Yeah, I know with the Reapers in the blue zone... Oh, we got to have a floor? Uh, the ones in the blue zone, sometimes... Whenever you don't kill off enough of the... What are they called? Nameless? When they hulk out at you? Oh, dude. They'll end up coming for you. Let's get a little foundation. We'll throw it over here out of the way. Are you breeding your... Your medic pigs, Croc? Or are you just taming them and using tamed ones? That should be fine. Let's get rid of all this junk. Might as well eat the berries. Yeah, <laughs> we are raptors, man. I tell you what, they're definitely a pain. Not to like surviving a huge raptor attack just to get knocked out by a micro raptor and die after that. Been there, done that. Happened quite often. All right, so we're gonna put him in a cryopod. Probably build a storage, throw all of our little bit of stuff in it, just so it's safe, and then if it dies, it'll actually give us a, a bag, you know? Did I drop that stuff over here? I did. Let's grab that wood again. Is there any thatch in there? I don't remember. Yep, a little bit. What are we missing? thought I picked up the thatch. There we go. Oh, it's only four. <laughs> Need a couple more than that. Alright, buddy. Will you fit? 
Well, let's get you lined up right first. You will. Fantastic. So everything should work. Oh, okay, I got you, yeah. Yeah, I forgot to change my timers for egg hatching and everything. So last time I did a Reaper, it was on Genesis 2, and man, we it ended up busting out of my chest like right in Rockwell's area. So it was, oh dude, it was horrible. All right, so here's a little storage for us. Put all the stuff in there we want to keep. Hey, how's it going, Tommy? We are just about to get some wyverns over here. Get rid of all this extra stuff real quick. We will leave the Argentavis. Hopefully, I do not forget him. And you're empty. Put that into there. I think we're good. I need to kill off... I need to get on a Feather Raptor and kill off all the creatures in between here and the trench. So that they don't get sidetracked, you know? Those crystals are going to cause problems, I bet. I have been doing a little bit of leveling on this guy. This is one of our new ones we got in the last video. So let's kill these bears and the mammoths off here and there. And then we'll start trying to get some wyverns over. Get some milk. Oh, that's not too bad. Didn't black and orange? I think mine was red. Like dark red, light red, and black. The last one that I did. Starved your Giga. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of time to go by to have that thing run out of food. Junior, Junior. <laughs> I guess he was a little bit further down the line, huh? Dude, there's a ton of rhinos up here. So yeah, we'll need this clear because we definitely need that. Clear path, no aggro, all the way around the corner there. Just to make sure there's no problems. It's alright, some good levels too for the Feather Raptor. That's all good, man. The, uh, the videos are always there extra too if you want to watch them later. Well, this dude's getting some good levels. All right, take out these last three, and I think that'll be fine. Should be good enough. Oh, the wolves. Let me help you, buddy. There we go. Uh-huh. A little bit of damage for everybody. All right, let's just drop it, drop it all. Oh, I got you. So it was a newborn, huh? So there's a UD there, I tell you what, that might be good enough. We're gonna stay kind of close to the... ...to the wall there. Alright, we'll leave this guy back at base. Jump on the Pterodon. And see how quick our first death comes. Oh yeah, let's test out the gate too. Need to test it to make sure that the pin codes work. What's up buddy, you stuck? This isn't made for you. Alright, so we'll keep him right here, so as soon as he's knocked out, we get the milk, we can run up on him, and then... ...kill it off. Nice, nice, that works. Let's open it back up. Awesome, so we're ready to go, man. Oh, they tamed the Titan? So you guys must be on extinction, huh? Alright, so of course we're looking for females. Males will not work. Oh, dude, they just spawned in too. Didn't see what that one was. Let's get a little bit away. See, that's a problem. It's going to have aggro on all this stuff down here. Dude, your, your head, man. We've talked about this. 
And so that is a female. Let's try to get her attention. And not get hit by the UD. That would be fantastic. What's up, buddy? Would you like to come this way? That might be a little bit easier snack. Dude, he's up there with the Argentavis, man. So that's another female. And what are you? Another female. Fantastic. We got all females here. Except for... Can't see what that one is. I tell you what, let's get some stamina. Alright, there we go. We nipped it. Come up this way, man. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got froze, though. No, come on. Unfreeze, unfreeze. Go, go. Shake and bake. There we go. Nice, nice. All right, let's keep her on us. Stay close to the mountain. Avoid the cold. Ah, oh, see, yep. So I should have killed everything off over here. Now you got to knock her out, and then she has milk in her inventory. That's why we've got that cage belt, so we can get her in there and trap her, knock her out without any problems. But she's going to be messing with all that stuff. Ah, oh, dude. Same with this one up here. It's messing with the Argentavis. Oh, it killed it. Cool. Come this way, man. Oh, don't freeze me. All right, stay over here so you don't get sidetracked. All right, let's go out wide. Keep her lined up. Oh, man. Nice, nice. She's in. Oh, the crystal. We got to get rid of that crystal. So she's trapped. Nice, nice. We'll start knocking her out. Yeah, trying to get the wiver milk. We've got an egg we stole back at base. Uh, we came over here to get a dung beetle yesterday and ended up stealing an egg. I usually don't need it for raising them because of my settings, but if they want one whenever we're imprinting, it's always nice to have it, you know? Man, that is really too tall on the ceilings. Oh, dude, we are too close. We only really need to do one. I'll probably do two. If I can ever hit it with the darts. Just to get enough. And maybe we'll grab... Yep, 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 yep. Maybe we'll grab a... Uh, Maybe we'll grab another egg. Come over here, buddy. You're going to die, and I'm not going to be happy. Yep. Well, we're just doing the one. <laughs> Forgot to put him on passive. Well, there goes our Pterodon. Had to make a tombstone for him. He was a little trooper, man. I'm going to have the Argent Davis, but that's like a big flying chicken, you know? Hey, how's it going, Zach? Yeah, we're on Valgaro. Just grabbing a little bit of milk real quick. We'll head back and hatch our... I think it's a level 55 egg. And then we'll come back up here and grab some more eggs. I'm going to need to tame another Pterodon. I think I'll do a moth next time. I really like the moths for running from the wyverns. Hey, how's it going, Mr. Rowell? Yeah, it's not too bad. I was kind of nervous. I've never done one like this with the keypad and all, but it's got a keypad lock on it, so... I mean, it works. It's pretty cool. I'll probably use it again. It's not too resource-intensive other than the... the pillars. It's a lot of pillars. And what level is this wyvern, man? I should have made some shocking trank darts. Nice, nice. Okay, cool. Let's grab this stuff out of her. 
A little bit of milk. Hop on this dude. Kill her off real quick. Get some good levels on this guy. Yeah, I'll show the cords here in a second for it. Nice, nice. Let's grab our Pterodon saddle. Ah, man, we could have done one more. That's all right, though. A little bit of milk we have will be fine. I usually set a big grill up here when I do these. So that'd be good for two hours. Let's put this into health. Keep him alive. So here's where we're at on the map. We're at about 1575, 73, 1573. So let's go ahead. We'll leave this like it is for right now. We will jump on our Argentavis and run back and try to get this thing raised up. Can I repair my pants, please? Grab some fiber. Tell you what, man, I'm always losing my pants. So yeah, next time we come up here, we'll build or we'll do a probably a moth for milking. That is. Oh yeah, let's turn the generator off. Save on a little bit of gas. Ah, oh, nice. Glad you liked the playthrough. Yeah, it's a good map. I wish I would stayed on it longer, but they need to get some of the the bugs and stuff fixed. I'll probably go back. There's still some stuff I didn't tame, like the Noglin, I think it's called. Throw these into you. And we'll throw that in. Let's drop all this junk. You got a point. Let's go into movement speed. Drop that. Alright. Corral pod, you go, buddy. <laughs> Dragon milk, yeah. Well, we will be back over here today, because like I said, as soon as we get this level 55 raised up, I do want to come back and try to get some other ones. I want to get a fire wyvern. So we might go ahead and tame a moth as well to run in there and grab it on. Or it could just go in on the level 55 that we tamed. We'll see. We'll see how it is. There's an artifact in there we can grab while we're in there as well. Hey, how's it going, Will? Nice to see you made it. So we just tested out our wyvern milking trap. It works. It works. I mean, my pterodon decided to uh, commit suicide. A moth? Yeah. A lot of people don't like using moths, but man, they can, uh, they can outrun wyverns. You just got to be able to maneuver them very well. So they got that really tight turning radius, and you can do circles around. If you do a quick 360 and then keep going, the wyverns have that huge turn to make. Lost Ark? Yeah. I hope they have Lost Island soon. So I haven't heard anything about the rele release date for it yet, because we're kind of coming to an end here soon on the island for our playthrough. Yeah, I like the moths. A lot of people uh, don't really like them, but I've got some stuff up on TikTok and YouTube from doing moth runs for Wyvern Milk. And uh, they turned out pretty well. People were surprised how well that the moth works. Oh, dude! I just wanted some stamina. Just some stamina. Uh, no, we didn't get any more. We just got some milk. Our Pterodon committed suicide. He <laughs> he decided to try to take on the Wyvern that we were knocking out. So we have to get another Pterodon. We do got five uh, bottles of milk, though, so that'll be enough for raising his first one up. What are we about to do now? We're going to head back. We got a level 55 Ice Wyvern egg that we stole yesterday. We're going to go ahead and hatch him. And then I want to head back over here and grab maybe a fire wyvern egg. Oh, you saw. Okay, so you saw the Scorcher series in? Yeah, the Pterodon. Man, he was getting such high on his stamina, too. Makes it real good for, for doing the runs. 
I like Scorched Earth. I think that's my longest playthrough I've done was on that map. It's like something like almost 90 videos, I think. Either 80 or 90. I kind of wish there was more on that map. Like they had more stuff to it. And then the Phoenix. I wish that the Phoenix was, you know, easier to find. So 90 videos or 80 videos, I, I never saw one. Really didn't have the heat waves too often. And then whenever I did, it was sometimes I'd have a heat wave, but it'd be at kind of like at night. Oh, you've been building all day? Yeah, it'll get to you when you've been building. I was actually working on that trap back there for about two hours before we started streaming. I'm not going the right way. I thought we were kind of going off to the side. Need to land up here and get some stamina. Okay, I like Crystal Isles. It's uh, pretty good. I want to go back there and do uh, one of the modded playthroughs. I was really thinking about going back there to do uh, Primitive Plus. Either that or Valgaro for Primitive Plus whenever I do it. The only thing with Primitive Plus is do the load times for trying to get in the game. Oh, I hear Raptors. I just need some stamina, dude. Oh, uh, the blood ones? Yeah, they're pretty cool with the uh, the leech. The health leech that they do. Yeah, whenever I go back to Crystal Isles, I'm going to have one of the mod packs that goes with it. That has all the creatures that were supposed to be on it. So that'll be pretty interesting because I know where I built my base in my, my playthrough. It's supposed to be all full of rock trakes on the aisles there. And it just it's all kind of empty. There's nothing much up there. Oh, the dedicated storage? So was that the one? That's the one on Crystal Isles you saw then for that first one, right? So I think that's the first time I used the dedicated storage. It's like right after they put it in as an official item, I think. Because it used to be just S+, plus, I believe. Let's check our... Oh, I didn't put our oil pump jack out yet, did I? Should do that real quick. Yeah, I'm ready to see it. I was hoping it was going to drop before I get done with the island because as soon as I'm done on the island map, I'm either going to the new map or I'm going to that new Viking mod map. I do not know how you pronounce it. It starts with an F. So whichever one is available, we'll be going there. Ah, uh, Tama Griffin. Ah, uh, dude, I miss Griffin so bad. Yeah, Griffins are real easy. That's what I used to use on Ragnarok for getting my Wyvern eggs was a a Griffin. Put a lot in his stamina, and oh, dude, nothing can catch you. Well, I mean, they can, but it's extremely hard. All right, let's drop this guy off in here. Yeah, that dive bomb, man. I like the glide, too. So this guy should be ready. He's got some crazy colors. I didn't realize that yesterday. Let's put this milk into preserving bin. Take our pterodons saddle out. Have to make him a little gravestone, man. Little dude was a trooper. We are out of space in that one. Oh, that's right. Can't go in there. Preserving bin. Oh, we got plenty of time. Plenty of time. Eat a little bit of food. Let's repair our clothes. It's a little bit cold in here. Are we out of fiber? <gasps> Dude, I'm out of fiber. Fajordor? Yeah, it's... I'm gonna have a really bad time on my playthrough trying to pronounce that every time I start the video. It's just gonna be, hey, welcome back to Modded Ark. <laughs> But yeah, we'll see. We'll go to one or the other. Oh, I need to repair that too real quick. I would say Scorched Earth. Scorched Earth and then Ragnarok. I mean, you kind of got Scorched Earth on Ragnarok, but you don't. You know what I mean? You do, but you don't. It's like a yes, but a no. Oh, have you not seen the base, Zach? Oh, we'll show you real quick. Real quick stroll around. I need to grab some water anyways. 
So I got it set up to where preserving bins, our cooking area, a little bit of all that. Open area, this will be where all of our artifacts will go. And then our trophy wall right up here. The horse, which is always leaving me presents for the dung beetle. This will be an industrial forge, and then our replicator will go here. Along this wall will be tech storage. Over here is our little hatching area and stuff like that and breeding. This is just my respawn beds. I'll put a couple containers up here, stuff I want to keep, and then roof access. Then over here is our dino storage. So all of our utility teams. Up here is our little kibble farm for making extraordinary kibble with our feather raptor eggs. Yep, I got your cords already earlier. So it's around... Oh, do you want the cords for the base or for the wyvern trench? The base is around roughly 70-70. Roughly. And then we got the the little greenhouse out here that has everything in it for vegetables. So, let's get this guy hatched up. Yeah, see, the icons are kind of bugged on these. I don't know why. Or it looks bugged. What's up, little buddy? Kind of nice colors you got there. Let's change your follow distance. All right, come out here, man. Let's get you outside where you don't get stuck in the floor. All right, Logan. Thanks for stopping by, man. Come on, dude. Let's go outside. You will not fit through that door if you get very much bigger. I need to give him some meat, too. There you go. Nibble on that a little bit. All right, man, we will be here, more than likely. Yeah, little lizard. So I plan on putting them up top. That's kind of why it's so big up top and flat. And then on this side, I'm going to build a little storage area, maybe for the birds. Still haven't decided. I've been talking about it for a while now and just haven't done it. I do like his, his color pattern, though. You know, it usually changes when it gets bigger. We'll have to see how it is. But for stats, it is only a level 55. 2,000 on the health. Stamina is 400. Weight, 472. Damage, 217%. And regular movement speed. So we'll see how it goes here in a few minutes with him. He's got five more minutes till he wants some care. And I can't remember if it's four or three imprints we've got to do on him. Right, let's give that to you. I'll take all these. Yeah, gigas are a big pain, man. They are always so hungry, too. Actually, I've already got fertilizer in those. Let's put this in storage. I like the thorny dragons for the weight reduction on wood. They're kind of fun. As long as you're not going too far. Well, I'll tell you what, while this guy is doing his thing, let's see. I don't know if we have any vegetables growing yet. I know they're up there. Oh, we do. So what do we need for some bug spray? We might do that bee tame today if there's any available. So some carrots, and then some of these. I might need to move my water up later. It's kind of a pain getting to some of these. Like this one. Uh, we might have some fur in the cabinet. If not, we'll run down, kill a couple horses with the feather raptor. Can I can I access you, please? Possibly. There we go. Are the what of work? Alright, let's see. Let's put these in here for the moment. Check for some fur. We've got a little bit. Let's go kill a couple horses and get some more. All right, buddy, we got to hurry with this. 
There was a couple kangaroos. Yeah, we'll kill some of those too. Sorry, buddy. Shouldn't need too much. A couple hundred, maybe? Yeah, hungry for their owner, dude. I didn't know that Gigas got enraged. So first time I ever had one tamed, I was taking them out leveling. And, you know, their stats are lower than wild ones. Oh, dude, I did not mean to run through that. So that was a problem anyways. And I wasn't breeding them. I just hatched one egg, took it up to where there was some uh, Kentros, and had my health down low and stepped on one, and he went totally enraged. Yeah, that was, uh, that was a thing. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't end well for me. All right, buddy, there we go. All right, so how much did we get? Not much. It's all right, though. Check on Junior out here. How you doing, buddy? Gonna want some milk soon. About a minute and a half. And I don't know if I have any narcotics. I do. I got a little bit. Not much. And you got stuff in you. You got stuff in you. You're empty. I don't think we have enough stuff for all of these, but we'll make a couple of them up. Dude, I can't believe all the problems we had with that queen bee yesterday. Hey, how's it going, ghost? Hey, you just missed it, man. We, uh, we lost a pterodon, so we set our trap up for the wyvern milk, and, yeah, little dude went rogue trying to, uh, kill the wyvern that we were trying to drink. we doing in here so we got four that's not too bad we'll get six total out of it I'll take that thank you yeah so the problems I was having with my dung beetle on the island he quit producing fertilizer altogether turns out he was not on wandering for some reason so that's fixed. That's been like, I don't know, three or four videos where I couldn't figure out what was going on with them. Alright, buddy, what you gonna want? Cuddle? We can do cuddles. 25%. So we're probably only getting 75% on his imprint because that timer is right on the money with the mature rate. I don't remember what these were. I think that went up. I think damage went up and weight went up. I don't know if health went up or not. Hmm, that might be a problem. Let's get you unstuck a little bit. Kind of glitching into the ground. Alright, alright, that's good, that's good. I do like the colors on it, though. I wish it was a little bit more gray than so much white, but... Turned out fine. It'll be good, it'll be good for running down into the fire area. Let's see, we got everything we need. I need to get a bola. And maybe we'll start scouting out for a moth. We'll go on this dude. We can't go too far because we're still doing the imprints, but we can at least look around here. I know there's a nice blue one over here. And another one over there getting attacked by the feather raptors. Did they kill it? Oh, they actually got him. Dude, why is there so many feather raptors around here? I need to go somewhere, man. Like a whole family. And then you got the cousin that doesn't have any feathers. It has to be different. Yeah, favorite color's blue, man. I try to change it up whenever I'm doing videos, but everything always ends up being blue. <laughs> That's the way it goes. That's a low level 15. Ooh, 130. Let's, uh, let's get him knocked out. I should have made some tranks, some shocking ones. I keep saying that and I keep forgetting to.
Yeah, but we have to serve the little lizard because he's always wanting food, man. Those things are not cheap to feed. Hopefully those feather raptors stay away long enough. He's about to break loose. Yep. Oh, there he goes. This is not the direction. Well, I mean, it's a direction to go. Yep. Missed that. Well, I tell you what. People ask why I don't do PvP. This is why. Oh, he's going back over here towards these two. Excuse me, guys. Yep, pardon me. Alright, there we go, there we go. I don't want to lose them. At least we're in the same general area. We saw that guy on us. He's gonna have to just deal with it for the moment. Take a nap, man. It's like crop dusting all over the place. Now we got a raptor. No! Get off my team! Oh man! Well, I tell you what. Well, yeah, I told you, fifty percent chance of a, a miss rate. That's the way it goes, man. <laughs> oh, dude. Not sure why the bot kind of blocked your message here, but it should be good. Hey, how's it going, Nathan? Dude, would you just... Can he jump? What's wrong? He's like stuck floating. All right, buddy. What's going on here? There we go. Well, that would have been a fantastic moth to have. You got a minute and a half left. Ah, uh, dude. So what you got? Empty his inventory out. And then I should probably go ahead and make a couple more bolas. And some shocking darts. Let's grab the biotoxin and do that. They will definitely last longer. Take a lot less of them, you know? We had a gas? Dude. None in there. None in there. Boy, I tell you what. What about the grill out here? They got took it all and took it with us whenever we went to do that trap. Yep, there we go. All right, so make up a couple of you. Let's grab some stuff for some more bolas. <laughs> it did go up a little bit when I was getting attacked, right? It's that extra boost, you know. Makes you pay attention to what you're doing. I think we need fiber, don't we, for the bolas? I'm gonna be out of fiber. Stone. Let's make uh, let's make ten. Head back out here. Junior should want some care here in a second. And then we'll be halfway done imprinting him. Actually, three quarters done imprinting him because he's got just one more we'll be able to do after this. Oh, Wiver Milk. Stop crafting. Aha, see? We did need some. Makes me feel bad whenever we go through all that and then they don't want any.
All right, buddy, I got you a special treat. Can I? You're in the way. It's a big wings. It's not your fault. However, let's move you up a little bit. Yeah, flap them. That's good, that's good. Well, you're still on a feeding trough. So yeah, health did go up. So did weight and damage. I think our stamina is always the same. Right, so, let's run down and try to find another moth. Ah, uh, we've got five, that'll be fine. Just give me all of these back. I should just make a net launcher, but I'm kind of really low on fiber, and I don't know about hide, or not hide, but uh, polymer. Wait, what am I doing? Let's just drop all this stuff. Oh, we need the electronics, so. And the oil. We don't need the dust. Alright, drop all that. We'll be good. How you doing over here, buddy? You still good? I gave him some food the other day. Totally forgot about it. It was getting pretty low. So let's see. We won't go too far. There's a moth there. Oh, 140. It's even better, man. See? Works out. Alright, let's do this in an easy way, please. He, he, he juked me at the last second. What? <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. There we go. Oh, man. Hopefully these shocking ones will work a lot better. The thing is, we'll have to leave him down here while he's taming to go up there and do our wyvern. Now the thing is, I miss with these, they are extremely expensive. There we go. Oh, nice. Cool. So are we... we good? Everybody alright? We fine here? Tell you what, let's go back up there and get some vegetables. I think he prefers those, right? Get rid of this dude. Yeah, 140, it's gonna be, that's a little bit better than 130. What are you? 25. Too low level, man. Alright, get up here. We only got one more imprint, so it's not too bad. Let's grab... They're not in here. There we go. Stack of those should be fine. Check on Junior, see what his timer's at. Three minutes. Oh, well, plenty of time, man. Plenty of time. So, I either got a saddle or a blueprint for a really good saddle for these. That's the other key key thing about using the moths for the wyverns is a saddle. And then the other thing is remember where you knocked them out at. Uh, there he is right there. Alright, check around the area. I think we're fine other than the feather raptors. Don't be dragging stuff over here, man. Kangaroos, I tell you what. I need to remember to grab my bug spray and to put it in the fridge. Nice, nice. Oh my gosh, it's going to take forever. Well, we can... And there's a Rex. Let's build some spike walls. We'll throw them in spike walls and then he should be fine. I think we just need fiber. And hide. He's got hide in him.
And then we'll just leave him. He should team up just fine by himself. We'll take out that Rex on the way back. Alright, four or five should be good. What are we missing? Wood. What's a moth used for? Um, I like using it for stealing wyvern eggs. So since our pterodon died, I was like, well, we'll just do something different. We'll get a moth and use him for running down in. If we don't use the other wyvern for running down in and grabbing some fire wyvern eggs, we'll be doing that soon as Junior's uh, raised up here. But we can use it for also grabbing some more milk. Might need to make one more. Yep, for sure need to make one more. I think we're just missing wood. Nope. Fiber. But they got that effect where you can crop dust and then it's like sucks all the stamina out. So it's kind of useful. Usually when you have more than one person though for doing stuff. Well, let's check on him before we totally close him in. Unconscious, he should be fine. Nice. Where did some of this weight... Did we kill a sheep? I didn't think we did. Alright, this should be the last imprint for the Wyvern. Like I said, we won't be able to get that fourth one, but three will be just fine. Alright, dude, off the door, man. How you doing, buddy? Ah, more milk. Nice. At least it didn't all go to waste. Three bottles will, but it'll be fine. I don't know. We can probably use those. They last like four or five hours in there. So final stats will be almost 2,500 on the health. Stamina 409. Weight is uh, 542. And then 254 on the damage. We'll definitely have to do some leveling before we take them too far. Mm, let's leave this stuff in here real quick. We'll go ahead and start leaving stuff here so we can hop on that wyvern as soon as he's ready. Oh, dude, yep. Well, we might take a nap here soon. <laughs> Always eat too many of those things. And then we'll leave the rifle here. We should be good. So yeah, when we're down in there, I'd like to go ahead and get a couple of the fire eggs, fire wyvern eggs, and then we need to get that artifact while we're in there. I think it's the artifact of the Sky Lords, the one that's down in there. And was that a full, fully built saddle that I had? Must be a blueprint. It is. And oh man, is that thing expensive? Not building that one. Alright, what do we need? So, chitin, fiber, and hide. Okay. Should have all that. Maybe not the hide. Or the fiber.
Nice. So that's ready for him whenever he wakes up. I'm hoping it'll be up by the time we get ready to leave, you know? Let's go ahead and throw all this into the grill. I got quite a bit of lamb chops already made up, but I mean, it's always good to have a little bit more, you know? Let that do its thing. Ninety-one percent, almost there. Let's check on the moth, and then he should be ready, and we'll head down. Ah, let's just fly. It's a little bit easier. Well, he's definitely easy to find now. All the spike walls around. But it'll be hard to see what level he is. Hmm. I don't really want to bust it to get in there. That's fine. Let's get rid of this Rex. I forgot to do that with the Feather Raptor when he was down here. Two Rex. What levels are you guys? 20. Ooh, a 145. Dude, we should leave that one. He's stuck on the two Dodix. Hey, how's it going, Tyler? Oh, you're on the island? Yeah, we got quite a bit on there. Well, thanks for stopping by. We'll be here for a little bit. We're trying to mess with some of the wyverns. We uh, accidentally stole an egg yesterday whenever we were going for a dung beetle. So the little dude's almost ready. As soon as he's raised up, we're going to head up and try to grab some fire ones here in a minute. But glad to hear you're liking the series for the island. We should definitely keep that Rex around and tame him soon. Let's put that into there. Our movement speed is getting up pretty high. 111%. Nice, nice. He's almost ready. We're going to need a lot of food to get you healed up, too. Let's grab some meat. I think the Argentavis has some in them. Force feed them while we're heading up. Yeah, little Pterodon man. Poor little dude. He's a fighter. <laughs> That's what got him killed. Okay, nice, nice. Yeah, it's always nice to watch whenever you're playing the same thing, you know. It's kind of a neat little area we built in. For our base, I almost skipped that area altogether whenever I first started that series, but I'm really glad I stayed there because I think the location looks fantastic. And this guy is ready to go. Let's get his health up all the way, and we'll take him up north. I could feed him that extra wyvern milk. Don't they get a bonus? Or like a high amount of health back? Nice. A little bit of fire, or not fire breath, ice breath for us. So we're going to have to put a lot in stamina and health on this guy. For him to stay alive. Yeah, he's all grown up. Didn't take too long. It was supposed to be four imprints. We got three on there. It's just too close to call. You know, you have to have everything on you right when he wants it. Have easy stuff like cuddles. Make sure we're going the right way. We need to be going this way. Munch on a couple things on the way up there. 250 a hit. That's not too bad. A little low for a wyvern, but it's a good base, you know? I mean, he's only a level 55, too. Dude, we really got to work on the stamina on this guy. I think we're going to put all nine points into stamina. I mean, we need to get health up too, but you run out of stamina, it's like, yeah, that's... <laughs> you're having a bad day. I really wish there was some kind of saddle you could put on these guys, though. They get a little bit of a bonus for... for armor. So 
So I also need to see... So there's usually a beehive right there. Let's check that other location. Since we got the... Vegetables and stuff and the bug spray. Which I forgot to put in the refrigerator. There's another spot right over here. There's usually a beehive at. Yep, I don't see it here either. It's usually right there on the rocks. To the left, right there. Well, trees in a way. Hmm. I wonder if that means the other ones haven't respawned either. Like the ones we took out the other day. Not too sure on the respawn times for those. Let's do... A little bit into health. That goes up quite a bit. I fully expect to lose him pretty quick up here. Once we go down in that cave for the fire ones. It'll be alright though, as long as we get some eggs out of it, you know? Get the eggs and at least get up top so we can recover it. Dude, I need to come over here for metal. Oh, there's an oil node too, for another pump jack, which I forgot to bring again. So we should look up here too for a Giga Spawn. There's usually one right to the left of where I built the trap at. Be kind of interesting to see if they've spawned in yet. And see what level he is. It's kind of easy to trap him up here. With the high mountains, you know. Try to get one tamed before too long. Maybe start breeding on those as well. Then we need to figure out what we want to do the boss battles with. So we can kind of start getting teams ready for those. Alright, so the trap should be here. We might be able to make it there. Our stamina's almost out. Oh, nice. Barely. Get a little bit of stamina. We'll check right over there for the Giga, and then we'll head down into the... into the trench. Alright, buddy. Let's not die, please. I've lost so many Wyverns to Gigas on this map. Ah, right, we can do that. I need to find a male. So we found, I think it was two eggs, high level, yesterday. And I already had a female, and they turned out to both be female eggs. It's like, dude, really wish I could have been a male for one of those. But yeah, we can do that. Yeah, I've never done it myself with those either. So it'll be definitely new. This is usually where the Giga's at. I don't see one. So maybe he hasn't had a chance to spawn in yet, because we are still fairly new on this map. Alright, let's head down into the trench. Been putting it off long enough. There's usually some rock elementals up here to tame as well. These things are a pain, man. Oh, dude, are they a pain. Alright, let's stop right up here. We'll get some stamina. Probably going to try to avoid everything and just fly right down in. Grab one and see if we can make it over to where the storage chest is. Drop the egg off in there and then try to run or fight. Alright, so there's another one of those. Oh, I turned the wrong way. Oh, yep. I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to avoid all that. Well. <laughs> We're not cold anymore. When you're on fire, man, it's never a good thing. All right, we'll stop here at the top. Get our health back. Probably should have wore my ghillie. All right, so I don't see any down there. Good luck. Yeah, definitely going to need it. I'm hoping there's eggs. That's the only thing. Sometimes there's no eggs when you first spawn in, you know? Right up here on the left is where I usually get one at. Like on the bottom one. So that's empty. Oh, that one's empty, but there's a wyvern. Oh, there's a nest there. 
There's a bunch of them. Oh my gosh, dude. Yep, yep, yep. We've got a tail on us. Oh, we're getting stuck on a wall. We'll take the shortcut. All right, let's hang tight here. Get our stamina back. See what level this egg is. Land, dude, land. There you go. What level are you? 25, not worth it. All right, let's try this again. We need to see where that uh, fire one is at. He's going to be stuck somewhere. All right, so let's see what level this egg was. Oh, 175. Yes, please. Shake and bake. Oh, we are so out of here. Dude, that is a very, very nice level on that one, man. I don't even want to look back. Yep, we got him coming. Oh, dude. Please tell me we made it out without anybody coming for us. That would be fantastic. Nope. Got a fire one, or a nice one down there. Nice, man, nice. I might drop this one off and grab another one. That is not bad at all. No aggro from the ice ones, either. Hmm. Interesting. It's gonna be born sad? <laughs> what you mean? Let's leave you in there for safekeeping. Wait, why do I have... The moth saddle on us. How jittery? Uh, about like a four. Mainly because I'm streaming and not recording. If I was recording, it wouldn't be as bad. But there's no pause button or redo whenever, uh, <laughs> whenever you're live, you know. Let's go down in and try to get one more. Uh, yesterday... Yesterday, I was like a 12 out of 10 on Jittery. Oh, dude. We were up here on the Pterodon and didn't even think about getting a Wyvern egg, but just happened to see one. And it didn't go over very well. Nobody died, but we came close. Let's get our stamina back. Alright, so there's a nest over there. And a bunch over there. But down there on that platform is where we need to get that artifact. But there's a lot of Wyverns in between here and there. Or maybe there's not. Oh, they're down there. Yep, 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 yep. All right, let's stay up high. Check these. They're usually empty, but we'll see. Yep, both of those are empty. What, the one in the corner? Ooh, we got an egg in that one. We got Wyverns close by on this one, though. This one's eh, might be the death of us here. Land, dude. We good? 150, I mean, that's, that's, I'll take that for sure, too. Yeah, they're coming for us again. All right, let's head out. Just one, though, so that's not too bad. Dude, that's some nice eggs, man. Oh, dude, a 175 and a 150? I think they keep getting stuck on that little cut through there. We'll see if he comes up top. If not, we might as well grab another one, right? While we're here and it's going good. This is our throwaway wyvern, the low level one, you know? Yeah, he didn't come for us either. Yeah, spicy egg. <laughs> Alright, we'll leave this one and grab one more if we can. And then we'll go back and throw them into the incubator and see what they look like. 
And we're hungry. And we're thirsty. How's our little moth doing? Almost ready. Oh, the fire one came up top too. Mmm. He got sidetracked though. Alright, man. So we'll probably go down the tunnel this time and see what we get for eggs down there. Let's put that into stamina. We'll lean here, get it all full. So the good thing about dragging them out is they're out, you know? There's something down here. Let's grab this artifact. We're good. Dude, get me off. Stuck on your wing. Yep, there we go. Nice. First artifact. That's <laughs> not too bad. Let's check these nests since he's outside now. I think they were all empty over here, right? Just the one that we stole out of? Yep, you're empty and you're empty. We'll go down the tunnel here. These are quite a few nests. Ah, there's wyverns down here, though. Oh, there's a nest right there, too. Oh, dude, I did not see that one behind us. Well, hmm. He should lose aggro because we didn't grab an egg. I do want to go back for that one, though. Oh, there's an egg here. What if we can get in and grab it real quick? Oh, dude, that was a level 20. That was so not worth it. No, wait, stop. Dude, um, hmm. Well. Yep, yep, yep. Oh, dude, if he dies, we're in a bad spot. Oh, dude, yep, we're gonna die. Hmm, shouldn't have messed with that one. Yep. Well? We don't have the artifact anymore. Well, luckily, that was just a level 20 egg. And we got the two other eggs out. Let's go down and... Man, what do we want to go back on? How's our moth doing? He's tamed. Let's go grab him real quick and just get him up top here. And then we'll go back on the Argentavis. I think the Argentavis is the faster flyer. Thought I'd never say that in my life, but... <laughs> <laughs> it's the fastest one since we lost a pterodon. Ah, uh, dude, that is such a long ride just to go get two eggs. What's up, buddy? How you doing? Oh! I didn't bring a crowd pod. You want to follow me? Drop all these skins. Nah, right, come with me, buddy. Yeah, it's all right. It was a low-level one. We we stole a 150 and a 175 egg, so that would definitely replace that 55. I mean, I, I expected them to last a little bit longer than that, but kind of my fault. I shouldn't have gone back in. I was I was trying a little bit too much, you know. But that thing, that thing was like really squishy. Are you coming, Junior? Oh, dude, there we go. Just stop latching on. Just calm down. Dude, <laughs> I just want to jump up on the, the, the railing, man. There we go. You're all right, calm down. All right, and you. Just land, just land. Where's the land one?
All right, so let's grab some clothes. We'll go up on the ghillie. That's all I have. I just want some pants. That'll be fine. Well, we'll take everything. Yeah, a lot better levels. That's kind of why I went back in so many times, because we already had those two out there, and I just threw it in my storage that was out there. The thing that sucks is, man, it's such a long ride to go back up and get the... Get the eggs. We'll get the eggs, bring them back. I'll throw them in the egg incubator. See what they look like. Because we do got those three bottles of milk still, you know. Kind of sucks we don't have the artifact, but... I mean, it's kind of easy to get once you get in there. I'm definitely not going back in there for my stuff, though. Not on the Argentavis, for sure. But we'll grab those eggs long as the storage chest didn't get bust because one of those fire ones did follow us out. And he was like right up by our trap. Yeah, there's like, what, 10 artifacts on this map, I think? That one's fairly easy to get, I mean, other than where it is, and then there's one... Where's it at? I think it's up on that ridge way up there. Artifact of the Destroyer. And then the jungle one's the one that I hate. Oh, dude, the one down in the jungle. The kind of like a little maze down there. Make sure we're going the right way. We aren't. I always get sidetracked. We need to be going more towards the left side of the trench. All right, Tyler, thanks for stopping by, man. Yeah, get some sleep. It is kind of late in the morning there, huh? Or early. Depends on how you say it. Stop by and grab this drop. I haven't done much drop runs on, on this map either. Get some better gear. Need to get some stamina anyways. As long as there's not a Raptors or Rex, we'll be all right. Got a ring around it, too. Should be something good. Pump jack, pump jack. Ooh, nice. Already built saddle. Ah, uh, it's only 57. It's pretty good for a thorny dragon. Ah, uh, we'll take that. Probably won't use it. I've already got a couple of them. Is that a Rex? That is. I thought I heard something big coming. We need to go that way. Should try to build us the treehouse on this map too. Since all the redwoods are up here. I haven't built one of those in so long. Should definitely do it after we get the S plus mod though, because it makes it a lot easier for building for like the roofs and stuff on them. my any of my gear man I gotta make another spyglass let's see what level this Rex is it's a nice white one ah right, stop and get some stamina Probably be the last time we got to stop and get some because it's just right up on that ledge there. I'll grab them and then make the flight back. Gotta make all new tools. What 
about to start gearing up too for the spider cave. So we have to go down in there with a gas mask or scuba tanks to get some artifacts. I think there's like two or three down there. And then we can go ahead and try to take out the brood mother as well while we're there. I mean, it doesn't give any loot, but it's kind of in the way, you know? As long as two of them don't spawn. Oh man, had two of them spawn last time I was there. It's like I got one almost dead. And then for some reason, another one was there as well. Oh, dude, that wyvern's like right above our stuff. It's the only problem about dragging them out, you know? All right, let's get these eggs and get out of here. Oh, he's coming for us, too. What? I thought as long as you got rid of the eggs, they, they lost aggro on you. Oh, dude, I better not lose my Argentavis. All right, he went somewhere else. Dude, I was going to say. No, nope, he's coming for us again. Oh, come on. What if we put him in there? I can't believe he came for us again. Let's keep him on us. It'll be fine. It'll be fine! Stop up here get some stamina, just in case. Oh, dude! Alright, so leave him in him. It's gotta be! So that's what it is. If it's on you, they'll come for you. Nope, he's still coming, and they're in the bird. Test something real quick. Mm, I don't know what it is. Let's just leave him in the bird. I want to quit dragging him closer to base. Gonna end up having to kill him off, man. He gets too close. <laughs> I don't know, man. Maybe I should put some turrets up at base, just in case. Nah, let's get a little bit more stamina. We're about out. I don't want to land right in front of a Rex. Dude, I can't believe our Pterodon didn't last that long. Of all ways to die, I mean... I could see him dying... Dude, did you smack me, really? I could see him dying while we were trying to kite him around, but not after the thing was already locked in a cage, you know? Let's get up here, land, get some more stamina. It should be the last time we gotta stop before we go over the jungle here. Alright, good to go. Almost back to base. Man, that is a long flight there and back. Definitely put a tech teleporter up there once we get some boss battles done and get some element. It's the only thing though, you don't get very much element for these boss fights I don't think on this map. And I can't remember if the aberration area has the charge stations to be able to make element sheets.
Uh, it depends. When did you leave? Because we lost a Pterodon, and then we lost ourselves and the Wyvern. We're just flying back from grabbing our two eggs. I shouldn't have gone back in the third time for another egg in the artifact, because we got, uh... <laughs> we got in a bad spot, man. Got attacked by a bunch of Fire Wyverns. Oh, dude, where did he come from? You have got to be kidding me. Really? You followed me all the way back? This far? I can't go back to base. There's no way. How did he follow us this far? I need to stop and get some stamina. I mean, the, the eggs are in the bird. I need to throw them in our incubator. Oh, man. He's looking for us. I have never had one chase me that far. I'm going to have to definitely get some turrets set up. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, please. Yep, he's coming. Oh, dude. Say what I'm gonna have to sacrifice myself again. I'm gonna have to leave the bird, let him kill me, and then go back and get my body again. No? Let's get him in the incubator, get him out of our inventory. Is that our moth? That better not be. You're gonna die if you are. Alright, let's get up here. We are closed for business. Thank you. <laughs> we'll shut that door. And this door. Everybody is on lockdown. This is where you kind of wish you didn't have glass windows, you know? For walls in your base. You know? all over your base because if he busted all that dude he could easily fly in here I don't see him though tell you what all right buddy we're gonna see how good you do you're our disposable tame I've been talking you up so don't let me down here. Oh, is that what it is? Every time you move them? Where's the wyvern at, though? That's, I mean, it's, it's kind of like seeing a spider in real life, right? You have eyes on them and you're scared, but then you lose sight of them and you're even more scared, right? Let's look around the corner here, because I do not want him just popping up. Yep, there he is. Oh, dude, I can't believe he came this far. It's literally across the map, and I don't have a spyglass to see what level that one is. I'll tell you what, let's, um... I don't have anything to kill him with right now. Let's get him out over here. Let's get some stamina. I usually have more stamina when I go messing with wyverns on a moth. There we go. <laughs> that works. Alright, all we gotta do is kite him away. I just want him on that side of the river, at least. Yep, uh-huh. Where you at, buddy? Nice colors. I think we might just have to hatch ours and bring it down here to kill him. I don't see that's a problem though. I need to hatch mine outside, right? Oh man, let's just go hatch ours. We'll hatch to 175 first. 
That is a horrible situation. We were joking about this yesterday when we stole the one egg and they kind of kited us a little bit. Yeah, I know. Where'd it come from? That's what I was thinking whenever it was, like, breathing down our neck. Like, literally, it was breathing down our neck. I don't know. He popped up out of nowhere. We were almost back here. I stopped for my last little bit of stamina over there, just right across by the the beaver dams. And <laughs> all of a sudden, flames came out of nowhere. So, what do we have here? Okay, okay, okay. Well, we're hatching to 175 for sure. So let's hatch you. Nice, nice dark colors. I like it. It'll probably lighten up. Dude, what's wrong with your eyes, man? They are very bugged out looking. I'm just saying. We'll have to work on that. All right, let's get you over here. So when you were away, we were on our Wyvern. And we stole a 175 and a 150 egg. And since we had that storage out by the trap, I went ahead and just dropped them in. I'm like, cool, let's go back in and get another one. So we got those two, and I was like, well, let's go back in and grab the artifact and one more egg. Well, we died. I flew back on the Argentavis just to grab my two eggs. And one of the fire wyverns that was up top decided to follow us. So, yeah, that's a, that's a thing. Can I make turrets? I don't even have them unlocked. If that's the case, we'll just kite them into it. Oh, let's do that. Let's make uh Oh, we're at a polymer. Well, I tell you what? Polymer, polymer, polymer. We can go down to... Well, let's put the one out first. So I think we need this one, right? Advanced rifle bullet. So we just need some gunpowder. I don't have any. I used all that literally for making our other darts. Sorry, though, we got plenty of spark powder made here. Cool, you make all that. I need to run electricity going up. Hmm. Maybe I'll just do a generator up there. Let them run off their own instead of running in power all the way up to it. I'm just going to be using this for our Wyvern defense, so we can take it right back down, you know? Let's take half of that. We'll take that. We'll make some ammo in a second. Kite the guy up here, and then we'll be good. Totally missed. Alright, so that's a thing. Let's go to... Only wild. We'll do medium range. It is. Um, So we got a fire wyvern following us back to base. So I gotta make some ammo real quick. And try to kite it up here to kill it off. That's why I'm putting the generator up there instead of running it proper. I just want to get it up there, kite him over, kill it, and then uh, <laughs> call it good, you know? Because I don't really have anything else to kill it with.
I just can't believe it followed me all the way back here. We need to let that gunpowder keep making. And we'll need to do that one imprint on our level 175. And then we'll work on using the moth to kite them up here. Yeah, I'll probably run some turrets, just because we're messing with wyverns a lot on this map. I'll probably run electricity the proper way here soon. And you, like, right along the walls all the way up, so it looks good. But for right now, I just want to get something up to protect us. So let's grab some of this. And we'll do it in each one. That way it'll craft a little bit faster. And we don't have our canteen because it died. Or it lost it when we died. It's in here. A little bit of food. Fantastic. Yeah, we had that one follow us all the way back to base here. I did not expect that. I think we've got to have a canteen over here. I left them in the water tap. There we go. Let's make a spyglass so we can see what level this thing is that's bugging us. I don't think I have one. Nope. Am I at a crystal? Uh, it's just below base here. Let me grab some crystal, make a spyglass. Oh, there he is. Is that him? Nope. <laughs> I got scared. 18 seconds. We'll do an imprint. Ah, oh, here we go. What else do we need for our spyglass? Fiber hide wood. Dude, we don't have much ammo left. Would you stop shooting the kangaroos? Please and thank you. On a walk? Fantastic. We'll go right over here where this wyvern is, and hopefully not munch on you. It was not much of a walk. It's more like a hop, dude. I'm just saying. We didn't go very far. Let's make some more ammo first. That way, if he stays on us, we can just drag him up here. Oh, it's going to do so much damage to our base, man. I don't know how many bullets we'll need to kill it. Oh, yeah, true. Uh, lowest, though, I usually get caught up in them and get stuck. So I always do, like, the... Not the lowest, but the low. All right, that should be enough ammo. If it'll stop shooting the kangaroos. Let's just fly up. We'll be on the moth anyways. Alright. Let's try to drag that thing up here. Put these in his stamina. He was just right off the edge of the cliff right over here. Hopefully that's where he still is. I mean, hopefully he'd disappear, but <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. Oh, it has to be a 152, doesn't it? Fantastic! Is that a raptor? Or is that the moth? Alright, so let's see if we can get aggro from him. Oh, we got aggro from him! Yep, yep, yep. Shake a bake. Evasive maneuvers. A little bit of this way, a little bit of that way. You're gonna get stuck there. You're gonna nip at me. Okay, get you up here. 
We're all right. We're all right. Get him right behind us. Duck down. See what I'm talking about. It's all about that moth mobility. Oh, dude. Oh, yep. Okay. Almost out of stamina. We're doing all right. Halfway there. Oh, our wyvern's out up here. Hmm. Well. Get him over here by the turret. Take him out, turret. Is he too far away? Let's get a little bit of stamina. It's fine. Everything's fine. Just a little warm up here, that's all. Now let's turn this uh, a little bit further on range. Wait, where's our wyvern? Where's our wyvern? Did little buddy follow us off the cliff? <gasps> Was he still on follow? Oh, dude, this is not turning out, out to be a good day. Where'd our little buddy go? He's not down here. Hmm, well, that's interesting. Yep, 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 come this way, man. Oh, he's down there, okay, cool. Oh, dude! Take him out! Take him out! Oh, we're gonna lose the moth! Little buddy's out of stamina. Oh! Yep. Dude, ah, that's what you get. We're on fire. Tell you what. This has not been a good day. I can't even get into my base. Excuse me. <laughs> Dude, I don't, I don't have any stamina to jump. Oh, man. I'll have to go around the long way here. Well, we lost the moth. We found our little wyvern. He's down the cliff there, which is probably a good place for him. Let's go up here. We'll get on the feather raptor. We'll harvest the wyvern. And then never go mess with eggs again. <laughs> Dude, we came so close to dying on that one. Let's get a little bit of medical brew. Or some food or something. Do we have any medical brew? I don't think I've made any. I haven't made any. Oh, dude. It has been quite the day. I need to get a cryopod and get our wyvern back up here. I don't know why he's down below. Man. Alright, so that's gone there. Buddy, why are you down here, man? You can't fight him. I know, you're trying. Let's see what he wants for his, uh, his care. Little buddy was going for him. That's what it was. The turrets hit him, and he's like, it's okay, I got this. <laughs> I'm one of his kind. Dude, I thought we lost him for sure. I thought he followed us off the cliff. I walk. Fantastic. Come walk up here, both of you. Actually, I just... Well, there you go. You're imprinted. Oh, man. The way Ark is sometimes, you know? Alright. Let's get on you. Let's get up here. Let's throw Junior back out. Let's make some medical brew. Please stay there, Junior. I would appreciate it. Where's that bag at? Talon? Yeah, there he is. I like it. Excuse me, pardon me. It's the big wings, man. Alright. So... Let's grab a little bit of narcotics. I don't know if I have any. That might be the 
The only thing. I do got berries. Alright, so there's the bug spray. Some vegetables. Let's grab a stack of this. Grab some berries. And get you crafting. Then we'll grab some of the red berries. Throw them out here and we'll start some medical brew going. Well, at least we didn't lose a 175. That would have kind of... Well, I mean, it really would have sucked. Not kind of. It really would have sucked. Let's make up the rest of this ammo. We'll put it in up top here. And I'll turn this off for now. And next time we come through with a wyvern, we'll just turn it back on. I'll, like I said, I'll run it proper later. Wait, are you... Oh, you are dead. Poor little buddy. So now we got the pterodon we lost and the moth. I don't even have an axe to <laughs> chop him up. Yep, not too bad on ammo for that one. Not for a 150, you know. Alright, let's grab his narcotics. Make up some brew real quick. No, oh, it's over here. Couple that should give us enough to heal up. Well, at least a base didn't catch on fire, I guess, right? It's usually a plus. It's yeah, it's been a it's been a very long day. <laughs> Dude, I planned on just getting some wyvern milk, raising up the wyvern, grabbing a couple more eggs, hatching them, having a nice easy day. Nope, that didn't work out very well. Let's go through the rest of this prime meat in here. But I mean, we still got the 175 egg, so that's not too bad, right? We didn't really lose too much. I'll trade a moth and a pterodon for that. Are you done? You are very loud. Throw this biotoxin back in here as well. I think it's over here, right? Yeah. That was a good moth, too, man. 140. <laughs> well, I'm glad it was entertaining. I'm sitting over here sweating. Worried about my 175. Hoping he didn't die. Dude just, like, up and houdini on us, you know? I thought the base was going to get set on fire. That's what I was worried about. I don't know how glass works with... I mean, I know they're, they're really fragile. It's glass, right? I need to make a, a pick and an axe and get my... Stuff sorted back out for inventory. But at least we have it for later in case we get attacked by another wyvern. Oh yeah, we need to keep an eye on him for his imprint. He's going to get one more minute and a half. Let's make our tools real quick and then we should be able to do an imprint. What are we missing? A little bit of wood. What do we get? So we just need to pick. And that's kind of everything that we lost when we died. Hey, Quinn Games, how's it going, man? So that should be good there. I got some in making jerky, just for later in case we need it. 
leave that in there and then we got the bug spray i think in the next video we'll try to do that queen bee again possibly because i want to get some kibble made for taming i really want to get there's a that level 140 rex down there and we need to get some more of the feather raptor eggs for start getting ready for the first boss fight i have to see what artifacts we need and kind of start heading that way on stuff to do See what this dude needs for his last imprint. I didn't even check his stats. Oh, dude, look at the health on this one compared to the other one. The other one was like 2,400. This one's 6,100 on the health so far. Stamina, 787. 756 on the weights, and then damage is 334. A lot better than the other one. I mean, the other one was a level 55, right? Thank you, thank you. It's a 175 egg we got. It's been uh, quite the chore getting it. We might get 100% out of this. If you want something simple for the last one, I'd like to keep a good eye on them and put some milk and stuff in our inventory so maybe we can get that last imprint and get 100%. Yeah, we got three hours left on that, so we got enough time. Turn that off. Check our narcotics, get some more medical brew going. Right, let's get you back up top. Start getting our stuff sorted back out. Let's go put that pump jack out. Keep talking about it and I keep forgetting. We got just enough time to throw that out. And then we should need that last imprint. I think it's like right over here on this little cliff. Oh, there's a drop too. We'll try to grab that red drop, maybe the yellow one as well. See what's in it. Dude, I can't believe we lost two teams today. <laughs> That's not a good ratio. Now we lost three teams. Oh, dude, we lost three. Us two times, and then two teams. But it was all worth it. We got some good wyvern eggs out of it, so it's not that bad. And as you can see, there's plenty more pterodons over here for us to grab. But yeah, the moths, man, as long as you have, like, really high stamina and don't have to land, and have, like, a really good, like, 100 or 200 armor saddle, oh, dude, it's, it makes it so much easier running from stuff. All right, what you got, man? Hopefully something good. All right, we'll take the whip. We'll take the Argentavis saddle. Ah, right, we'll take the blueprints. Yeah, I know, I hear you back there. Really not in the mood for you. Uh huh. Is that what you wanted? Tried to tell him, didn't want to listen. <laughs> Dude. It's like I'm getting this drop. <laughs> Raptor's not taking a drop from me. Alright, is it here? Yeah, it is. Cool. Did I not bring the pump jack with me? I do. Here we go. Nice. Oh, we got a nice whip out of it, too. Was that 500%? Yeah, nice. And then I need to change this out. Let's do that real quick. 300 armor saddle for the Argentavis. That is definitely nice. Keep you alive a little bit longer, buddy. Might have to use you on some wyvern egg runs now. Put some more points into his movement speed. I don't remember what I need a polymer for. Oh, I was going to make a second turret. I think one will be fine for right now. I'll put the other one up once I get the electricity ran. I'll probably work on that between this video and next one. Just for... Circumstances like what just happened. Maybe I'll put it on a low range and just leave them on all the time. Let's 
Some getting attacked over there. Let's get rid of our... We should just leave the moth there, man. <laughs> leave them as just like a little, uh... Not a trophy, but you know what I mean. Poor little dude. No, he'll decompose though, won't he? Three hours? Yeah, he'll be there for a bit. Alright, how you doing, Junior? Getting close? Minute and a half. Let's empty our inventory. Actually, did I get everything out of the Argentavis? I don't think I did. I think there's still some stuff in him. Let's grab that real quick. No, it didn't survive. It's the body of him. I thought that too when I first came up here. He's, uh, he's dead. He's just... <laughs> he died in that position. I don't know. It's kind of weird. I thought the same thing. I was like, oh, little buddy made it. But nope. That's just his body. I don't think there's any manis on his map to tame. Hey, how's it going, mix up? Yeah, I thought he was alive, man. Oh, I got kind of excited that he actually made it, but yeah. <laughs> Dude didn't make it. Thanks for bringing it up. You know, we just got over them. <laughs> Let's leave those and see if we got any more narcotics made. I'd like to make all that up. I mean, seems how we need it, obviously, right? It's more spoiled meat, but we have plenty of that. Two hours, we'll keep it on us. Yeah, it was a high level one, too, you know? If he would have had a little bit better saddle, he would have made it. What am I good doing? I keep getting lost. Here we go. Alright, you're done, right? Let's empty you out. And you're done, too. Well, leave you in there. Oh, yeah, a minute and a half on this guy. Oh, man, I missed the last one. I was messing with everything else. Well, he got three imprints, 75%. So his final stats are 6,500 on health, 787 on the stamina. Weight is 791, and damage is 351%. Let's take a force spin. Short spin. Three fifty damage. That is not too bad for a base starting off, you know. We'll put a lot of points into health, of course, and then stamina. We'll work on damage after. I mean, I like to have a base of three fifty for damage, so we're kind of there. I think we'll get that up first because that's the first thing that usually gets me killed is running out of stamina. One on these things. But let's kill a couple things before we go for the day. Do a little bit of leveling. I want to keep that Rex. That 140 Rex that's down here. Don't really want to kill him. I want to tame him. Especially being this close to base. Oh, dude. Ah, poor little Jerboa. <laughs> little buddy didn't make it. Got barbecued. Well, meat will not be a problem anymore. That's for sure. Let's do a little bit into damage. Just to get that up over the 350 I like to keep it at. Let's kill off some of these Brontos. I want that Rex to live. And he's about to munch that one down. If we can kill these two off real quick. Before he comes over. I don't want to have to fly away, man. I don't want to hit the Rex. Cool. All right, let's get out of here. Keep him alive. Awesome. Our stamina is way up there.
Loop around, buddy. Loop around. There we go. Get our stamina back. We'll kill this Bronto off and maybe that one. A couple things over here. Little raptors running around. We'll put points into them in a minute. I want to put it all into health on them right now. Get that up around 15,000, and then we should be fairly decent. I'll feel a lot better. He won't be as squishy. Is 190 the max on Wyverns? Or is it like 180 for like the eggs, you know? Kill this last one off. Stamina is regen is so slow because our health is so low, you know? Nice, nice. All right, let's go back to base. This dude's gonna need a lot of healing. I got up to 13,000. That is not bad at all. Like I said, I was wanting to keep him around 15. At 15, I don't feel as squishy. And our stamina is plenty high. We'll start pumping some into... Oh, so it's 190's max? Okay. But we'll start pumping some points into damage here before too long, too. Nice, man. Nice. Well, I think we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. I think in the next video, I want to start getting ready for the boss fight. So we need to grab artifacts. We need to find a male feather raptor egg. That way we can start breeding those. And we'll probably take about 15 or so of them in with us. And those are super simple, though, right? All we got to do is one imprint on those, and they're 100%. So that's some stuff we'll start working for and are working towards. And try to get one of the boss fights out of the way and over with. But we are going to go ahead and leave this one here. Hope you enjoyed the video. Appreciate everybody coming out to the stream. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.